The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the August 16th, the terrific Tuesday edition of today's Trader's Ed Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. The easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, well, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I do want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, and that's this. During this next 53 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. Would love to hear from you. You can dial on in at 877-927-6648. Now, if you can't dial in, we've got you covered there, too. You can always send me an email. Send it to Steve at TFNN.com. But inside that subject, heading, if you'd be kind enough to put radio show question. Of course, inside our Tigers, then, well, any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Tuesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Right now, mixed bag out there. You've got the Dow up 92. The tranny's up 56. That's three-tenths and four-tenths, basically. To the downside are the rest of the markets. S&P's off 10 points, a quarter of a percent. NASDAQ, 113 points, eight-tenths. Eight-tenths for the Russell, 16 points. One and a half percent for the semis. That's 47 points. You've got gold trading out at 1792. It's off five bucks. Silver's trading out at 2014, off 12 cents. Light sweet crude back a buck 50. That's trading out at 87.30. Natural gas is up 39 cents, a big move there. Nine dollars and ten cents is the print. Thirty-year Treasury is off 26 ticks. She's trading out at 140.23. Leading the charge, dollar-wise to the upside, you got uh, Fab Fabrene. It's up 13 bucks or 13 percent. Home Depot about 13 bucks or four percent. Alta Beauty 11 bucks. That's nearly three percent. Massimo Corp is up nearly nine bucks or five percent. Arch Resources up five, and Walmart is up five percent as well. That's seven bucks to the upside. Mercado Libre is the shaker. It's down thirty-six bucks, three percent. IDEX Laboratories fifteen bucks, four percent. MicroStrategy fifteen bucks and change, about five percent. HubSpot thirteen bucks, three tenths, three three percent uh, to the downside. Illumina is off five percent. That's off twelve fifty. She trading out at two fourteen and a change out there. So where do we want to begin our day? Let's begin our day. Take a look at the equity future charts out there. So let's go look at the daily screens. Give me a moment. We'll get over to there. We'll take a look at the ES, the NQ, the Russell, and the Dow, which is in the lower left-hand corner. What you'll notice is that we are in bar number five for the ES, for the NQ, and for the Dow. The Russell, one day ahead. This is in bar number six today, or could be bar number six. Now, what we're watching for here as well, if you look at the lower right-hand chart, if you look at the upper right-hand chart, both right now show bear sash candles. In order to generate a bear sash candle today, price has to close below yesterday's open. So for the NQ, let me give you that number out there. And you want to take a look at this at 5 o'clock at night. That uh, open yesterday was 13 571 50. You don't close below that, you don't get a bearish reversal candle. The reason why that's important is because if we do get a bearish reversal candle, then that creates a sell the D point pattern. Now, that sell the D point pattern, should it occur, would take us back to the top of the profile and that green oscillator and change line. It's in the 13, 419 area. The Russell 2000, a similar set of patterns out there. In order for the Russell 2000 to generate a bear sash candle today, it needs to close below. 2016, 2016. You're trading at 2008 right now. If we get that, then that's going to signal that the Russell should pull back to its oscillator and change line, currently printed at 1966. And any move below that, we would then see a price target of the top of the daily profile, old resistance, which may become new support. But we have to wait till the end of the day. If we look at the Dow out there, the Dow is not even threatening. 
to consider a uh, bearish reversal candle, at least not at 11.11 in the morning. I think we ought to go to the craps table there. And uh, if we look at the ES Mini, uh, just an inside bar as we speak right now, really narrow price range out here for the S&P or the ES Mini, really narrow price range for all of these. So short of a uh, bearish reversal candle that forms out there, price should continue higher. The most likely pattern out here is that uh, we get TD9 count uh, tops that set up a, a short-term top out there. But that can't possibly occur until sometime next week. So nothing to be dealing with as we speak right now. Five, six, five, six, seven. Well, Friday could get bar number eight. Um, so we'll, we'll pay attention to that out there. But right now, how do we summarize this? Um, we don't have a we don't have a uniform. Uh, we do we do not have a uh, we do not have an agreement by all four of these equity future contracts out here. So it's really kind of a mixed message, kind of like the mixed bag. When we took a look at the uh, markets out there. That's right, mixed bag out there. So no real conclusion, but can we draw any other kind of conclusions from this? Now that's a great question, and let's go see if we can answer that question. So let's go switch over to the uh, ES mini charts out there. So if you give me a moment here. We'll get to the ES mini charts. Now, we're not taking a look at the long term. We just got the daily and all the intraday charts out here. So we take a look at the ES mini. What are we going to notice out here? Well, I'm going to notice two things. The first thing I'm going to notice is the 30-minute time frame chart. The 30-minute time frame chart formed a Rhodes Mintum indicator top. It did it at uh, 4 p.m. yesterday when it generated that dark cloud cover candle, that bearish reversal signal. Then what's transpired since then is prices made its way back to its breakout level, 13.534 and a quarter. Now, there is an A to B equals CD to the downside. It was more than a one-to-one, -one, and that was confirmed, or it appears to be confirmed here. We need still another 18 minutes left in this session, but it looks like that is generating a buy the D point. What that says to you and I is the NQ should go target that oscillator and change line, and that's at about the 13.631-ish level out there. If we look at the 15-minute time frame chart, that's confirmed because you've got a TD9 count bottom. That says watch 13.601-ish. If price can close above that red oscillator and change line, that's what will get us up to the 13.631 area just looking at the other charts see if there's any other signals worthwhile to discuss with you the answer is there well i would look at the td9 count on the 240 minute chart and the td9 count on the five hour time frame chart both of those have taken price back to support and support there both of those have bullish structured profiles they're in the 13 5, 16 area that's the bottom of those profiles so price is pulled back to a level of support out here now it's time to watch to see how price deals with resistance levels. And those first resistance levels, the 15-minute chart we took a look at, that's where price is up right there. The next one is going to be at that 13,631 level. So that's the NQ. I know I said the ES. So now let's go ahead and actually put the ES up here. And we'll go take a look at its chart patterns, see what it has to uh, share with us. So just give this a, a moment to populate. Again, we want to look at the same kind of thing, which is what's really going on in the intraday charts. We already covered the daily with you. So on an intraday time frame out here, you can see the NQ. Of course, ES is not fully populated in a 30-minute time frame. But uh, it appears that the NQ was the weaker of these uh, two. Well, that just makes sense if you take a look at the move lower. I'm just waiting for that 30-minute chart to form out there. So no bottom pattern or signal out there and well away from its breakout area. So it looks like it's the NQ. So as I look at these charts here, just momentarily, um, you do have price on the 120-minute uh, chart, which has a Roachman indicator top, getting back to support at that 4282 level. But I really think it's the NQ that's going to drive the markets more than the ESP. We'll be right back. of booming inflation where your purchasing power is eroded there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold vista gold's flagship asset is the mount todd gold project in the northern territory of australia this is australia's largest undeveloped gold project we are talking a world-class gold project in a tier one mining district this is a large-scale low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve and a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ.
You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the Opening Call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors C -c -c call now toll free at 1-877-927-6648 internationally at 727-873-7618 Welcome back, uh, folks. So we've got four requests in the queue here. We're going to look at LNG, GDX, Walmart, and uh, Microsoft. So let's begin that process here. Let's start. Uh, Elton wrote in, wants to take a look at LNG, just wants an overview of it. So as we look at these white background charts out here, you're going to notice an A to B equals CD pattern that is underway out there, a TD9 count that was negated. Uh, you are in bar number seven and you are wave number seven uh, uh, as well. So you need uh, So there's a potential for a short-term top to form out here, I say the potential, first with regard to wave number seven, you need to have a lower high. So the earliest that could confirm, could confirm would be tomorrow. Bar number seven, that says you could get a TD9 count top between Wednesday and Friday out there. So that's something to consider on the daily time frame. When I look at the weekly time frame and I look at the monthly time frame, more so the monthly time frame, Alton, this is in full breakout mode. And what I mean by that, of course, it's still early in the month. It's only the 16th. But as we speak right now, this is negating a monthly TD nine count top out there. So then where is price headed to? We got the short term and we've got the longer term. Let's go switch over to our black background charts. Just easier for me to draw in, which I've already done. The A to B equals CD pattern out there. And that's on the very left hand side. That's a daily time frame. So at a minimum, you've got a one to one price objective of 172.32. But I would say that's not where price is headed to. I would say it's 180.56 or thereabouts. Why? Because if we look at that C to D retracement or B to C retracement out here, it was a it's only a 28 percent retracement, which I, I like to use something that's at least a 38 percent retracement out there, but a very shallow retracement. So that says this likely does more than a one to one A to B equals C D. Now, Alton, that is also confirmed by the breakout that we have, a consolidation breakout on the weekly time frame chart. And that suggests that over time, price is going to go target that 180 area. So we've got two patterns out here, one on the daily, one on the weekly, two different patterns. They both come up with the uh, same thing. But again, short term wise, you could see a short term top that would form uh, by Friday of this week and then a pullback and a retracement. We'd have to take a look at if there's any new profiles at that time or where the oscillator and change line is headed to. But uh, uh, Chenier Energy LNG looks awfully tasty out there with regard to uh, where things are headed to. So I hope that helps you out, and thanks so much for the request. Next request coming in from uh, Z inside the Tiger's Den. He wants to take a look at the GDX. So let's just stay with the uh, black background screens for the moment. We can switch over to the white background screens as well, see what they are signaling to us. When we take a look at the monthly time frame chart, I'll expand this out, John. 
This is a chart that I love uh, because I made it. No, it's a chart that I love just simply because of the pattern. So we can take a look at the nice rising price channel that is established by the green diagonal lines out there. With inside the rising price channel, you can get a falling price channel. And that's the red diagonal line. So that's what we got. Price came right back. This is a monthly chart. Completed a one-to-one -one move. That was out the 2465 level. Now, what is needed at the end of the month, because it's an A to B equals CD pattern, it needs a bullish reversal candle. If it doesn't get that, then we don't have a confirmed monthly Gartley buy or buy the D point pattern out there. If price were to move below this rising trend line, then, John, the next price target would be 2210 to the downside. That is the bottom of the monthly profile. But right now, things are looking pretty good pattern wise. So let's go look at the weekly time frame chart. So here's what we know about the monthly chart it showed the A to B equals CD pattern to the downside. So the weekly is going to have that same thing. And on a weekly basis, John, you did get that bullish reversal candle. It was a bullish engulfing. That took place the week that began. July the 25th out there and now we have a new profile that formed this form last week and so our consolidation zone so to speak is with inside that profile that would be between the price level of 2510 at support and 2799 as resistance so what you're looking for here um, is for price to clear 2799 does that have to do with this week no what you really like and you can't see here is the uh, daily price action really from yesterday because what it did was it negated a potential TD9 count so we don't have any kind of count, any kind of TD9 count, or any kind of a topping signal inside the daily time frame out here. What we do have is price consolidating with inside its daily profile. So you've got resistance at 2735, 2799. That's the key area where price needs to be able to get through. Support is in the 2510 to 2552 level. Now let's go switch over to the white background charts, see if there's any additional information that I can share with each of you out there. So momentarily we'll have those up on the screen. Monthly chart, not much to tell there. The weekly chart, nothing else to tell on the weekly chart. We've already done that. On the uh, daily chart, you do have a confirmed uh, roads momentum indicator bottom. 195-minute uh, chart, a TD9 count top out here. This says that GDX could pull back to 2582 or 2545. No topping signal on the uh, – none that sticks out at me on the 130-minute chart or the 65 or the 30. Yeah. So short-term-wise – you know, it's the 15-minute chart, believe it or not. you got the GDX, nice TD9 count top, and it's the 195-minute chart. So uh, in the uh, case of the 15-minute chart, price pulled back and tested that key level of support at 26.38. So I'd say you want to watch that during the day, even though it's a 15-minute time frame. If price were to bust through that level, then that's a signal of a move to 25.52. 2579 as I take a look at the GDX charts. So, John, Mr. Z inside the Tiger's Den, I hope that helps you out. Thank you so much for the request. Let's go to the next request. This one is coming in from uh, ELO, Electric Light Orchestra, inside our Tiger's Den. And ELO wants to take a look at Walmart. WMT is the Turkish symbol. Let's get that up on our screen out here. I'm going to get that going on my black background screens as well, see if there's anything that uh, pops out at me. So you got a nice gap to the upside uh, today inside of Walmart. Price is trading well above the top of its daily profile. It is above the top of its weekly profile. And you can see from a monthly standpoint, it's consolidating or it's trading with inside that. So the upside target here. We'll go defer to the monthly time frame ELO, and that's going to be a move into the 144.43 to 147.31 area. That's the green oscillator and change line, and then the top of the monthly profile. On a daily basis out here, you've got an A to B equals CD pattern of the upside. We'll go take a look at that. You already have the volume uh, taking out the B point. The B point, by the way, out here is going to be the trading day if you want to do your A to B equals CDs at home. That's going to be the high from August the 1st out there. So you've got a confirmed A to B equals CD to the upside. The daily time frame is suggesting that price may want to gravitate gravitate towards its TD9 count breakdown area, and that's in the 153.95 range. The 154.99 range is where the weekly chart is suggesting uh, it wants to head to, and we already covered the uh, monthly, which was in the 144 to 147 level. So let's go switch back to those black background charts, and that way we can draw in the A to B equals CD pattern, get a couple of different price projections out here. So let's open up the daily time frame chart. Um, let's do the conservative A to B equals CD pattern. So when I say that, so the question is, do we start with the swing point from May the 20th, which absolutely is correct, and we could or we should out there, or do we start with the swing point 
uh, from the uh, move here from July 26 out there. So either one would work. I'm just going to start with the one from July 26 as we speak. So on July 26, that's our low out there. The high is going to be that August uh, 1st high, the retracement into a low that formed on August 5th. It was about a uh, 0.618 retracement, 64%. We're already, we've gapped up to the uh, one to one level, 139. This suggests that the next price target is in the 143 range. So that now gets us to a one to 1.2728 to be equal CD to the upside. That's tied into the monthly time frame chart where we suggested about the 144 range. So it does look like Walmart headed higher, 143.14, 148.05. Those are the price ranges. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. I'd love to hear from you folks. Steve at TFNN.com or give us a call, 877-927-6648. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Holy shnikes out here. Now, this is kind of an inter interesting pattern here with regard to Walmart. I'm going to draw a rectangle around an area and it's this oops it's about this area right here i can move it up just a tad higher um what do you what do you what do you folks see out there when i draw this pattern in here what do you see yeah an island bottom actually uh, it is a gigantic island bottom i don't know if i've ever seen an island bottom like that now price needs to stay above uh the high from the trading session of uh may the 17th out there that high is 137.44, and as long as that's in place here, I mean, that's a very bullish pattern. Now, you really like to see that pattern, you know, at some significant lows out there. That's really not what we have necessarily, but an island bottom is still an island bottom. That's what Walmart has out there. So it most certainly does suggest higher price like we took a look at uh, before we went to that break. Let's go to our next request out there. 
This one coming in from uh, Nancy. Fancy Nancy, who wants to take a look at Microsoft. So uh, which screens do I have up? I got the black background screen. Let me go over here. Let's put up Microsoft. So what do you know about Microsoft? Well, the first thing that we know, Nancy, I know you've got a long call position out here. And I, I don't recall when that uh, expires uh, out here, but I know you were looking at short term. So if you're in the money here, then the weekly chart is suggesting, okay, now is the time to take your profits. Why is that? Well, you can see that prices run into resistance at 294.51. I don't know whether we'll take that out. Resistance is resistance, but that is most certainly something to consider out there. Um, but that's your re that's your battleground. Now, look, if price can overtake 294.51, that would be a beautiful thing. Do I have anything in place to suggest that it can't or that it won't? And the answer is uh, I don't. And if price could close above 294.51. Then that would the signal would be that price should make its way up to the 349.67 level out there. So how do you come up with that? If price can take out that weekly resistance level, the TAS uh, profile, then we switch over to the larger time frame, the monthly time frame. We can see that price with inside a bullish structured profile. It is trading right now above the center of that bullish structured profile, 285.67, and that would then suggest a move up to 349.67, but not until price takes out 294.51, and you're more interested in the short term. I don't have, I, I will do it here momentarily, if you give me a moment which I know you will, you don't have really a choice out there, but here is the uh, daily, weekly, and monthly time frames. Just, again, is there anything else out here that says, hey, Nancy, be careful? Well, turns out on that weekly chart, 293.30 is the TD nine count breakdown level. So you have got two resistance areas. I am not saying they can't fail. It's just that price is up at resistance. You're on a short-term leash out here. You may have some nice profits in it. And so this is saying, okay, it's time to consider uh, taking those profits off of the table. If we look at the daily time frame chart, that's not its signal. But resistance is resistance. What is its signal? Well, you're only going to form bar number five today. You negated a TD nine count pattern um, a few days ago, two three days ago out there. That suggested it wants higher price. It's just that you're up at this resistance zone. So let me just do this here real quick. I'm just going to look at a 30 minute time frame chart. I'm actually just going to go ahead and do a new chart here as soon as I can. Me new chart, Microsoft, MSFT. It's on a different screen. I want to get the 30-minute chart out here. Just take a look at that. So give me a minute. Give me uh, 30 minutes. Give me 30 days. And then let me get to the uh, template that's got that actual chart on there. All 30 minutes. So I'm just going to take a look at that short-term chart. I'll bring that over to the uh, screen here momentarily so that we can take a look at Microsoft. We're just looking for any kind of signals here to assist Nancy with the uh, trade. Because as price hits resistance, for whatever the time period is, then we want to start diving down into smaller time frames to see if they are signaling uh, some kind of a top. And it turns out that if we take a look at the 30-minute uh, time frame chart for Microsoft, it has confirmed a road's momentum indicator top. And it did that when price gapped down here at uh, Microsoft's at this morning. Yeah, it's 30 minutes chart. Yeah, so it must have been at the open this morning. On price gap down. Now, confirm that pattern. Now, price is back up on top of its uh, breakout of 291.58. So what I can't tell is whether this is trying to set up an A to B equals CD to the downside on a short-term time frame, Nancy. Um, but on a 30-minute chart, that's what we've got out here. We can change that from a 30-minute to a 65-minute. Uh, that's one of the charts that we'll, and you've got a TD nine count top here. Yeah, so the, the signals even, you know, I haven't done a thorough, thorough review. You need to do that out there. But if you're wondering, is price and Microsoft up at resistance? The answer is absolutely, positively yes. So I do hope that analysis helps you out. Thanks so much for the uh, query and have a great day. The next question, last question actually, that I've got in the queue at this stage of the game is go take a look at Apple. So let's go switch over to our other set of multi time frame charts out here. Whoops, uh, didn't mean to do that. I meant to do this. Let's get the uh, that set of charts out here. This is for MKC inside the Tiger's Den. So to take a look at Apple, Apple right now is trading above on a monthly basis. It's green oscillator and change line on the top of its profile. That suggests it wants to go make a run for that high out there from January 22nd. That high is in the 182.94 level. Weekly time frame, last week price closed above the TD9 count, breakdown resistance level at 171.53. We're still above it. It's going to form bar number seven this week. This suggests that Apple wants to likely move higher for the next couple of weeks out there. At a minimum, next week or the week after, one of those two weeks should take out the highs of this week. 
And if that occurs, that would then set up a weekly TD nine count top. Is that important? Well, if we just simply open up the weekly chart out here, what was the pattern that formed that identified the top first on a weekly basis? Well, it was a TD nine count top. That was followed up by a Rhodes momentum indicator signal. What, fo what formed at the bottom? A TD nine count bottom. So what do you think? If Apple forms a TD nine count top in the next couple of weeks, you think it will have any kind of meaning out there? Well, it have meaning to Stevie, may not have meaning to you. If we look at the daily time frame, we can see that price negated its TD9 count top. It did that four trading sessions ago, so things still look bullish here. Short-term-wise, you could see a short-term top. This is five, six, seven, eight, between Friday and Wednesday of next week out there. So that's what I see when I look at the uh, charts here for Apple, just on an intraday basis or anything of significance here. Nothing of major, major significance that I see at this stage of the game. So MKC, I hope that helps you out with regard to uh, Apple, and thanks so much for the request. Let me go take a look and see if there's any other requests that have come in here at this moment in time. The answer is, I'm on phone. There we go. Yep, we do. We've got Hector. A oh, we got LB. LB was first in. LB wants to take a look at ticker symbol NU. So uh, just simply because it populates quicker, I'm going to go to the daily, weekly, monthly, NU is what, Nucor, I believe, or something like that? Uh, is that what it is? But uh, LB's question is, uh, you got in on Friday at 4 bucks, wondering about the short and long-term potential out here. Trade out at 5.51. NU holdings out there. So trade above the top of its daily profile. You like that. You've got an A to B equals CD to the upside. That is underway. That says only a bearish reversal candle would give you pause. You have a Rose momentum indicator bottom on the weekly time frame. Bar number 7 says that price wants to go target. The 769 level, really not enough information. It's not been trading long enough, really, to generate any kind of good signals from the monthly time frame out there. So this looks like it wants to move higher. Um, 738 could be a price target. Let's switch over to the black background charts. There we can draw in the A to B equals CD pattern that is underway and gave you some price targets there as well. So momentarily, we'll have that up on the screen. We'll just simply expand this chart out. And we'll go take a look at that A to B equals CD pattern that is out here. So where is the low? Where is the low? Looks like the low might be back here. That is 326. What is this low? 326. So we got the uh, low out here for our A point. We're going to start with the low from the week. This week, this is the daily chart uh, from uh, June the 16th. Our B point is going to be the high from July 21st. And that C point, oh, 379, 377 going to be the low from July 27th out there. Let's get that going. So you're already at the 1 to 1.272 level. The nice upside, next upside price target is 608. Above that, 663. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. 
Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, you folks. So our, our wing couple, a wing man and a wing woman, that's Hector and uh, Patty. They are our fuel injectors. Hector wrote in and he said, hey, happy Taco Tuesday. Back at you. Amazon has a beautiful island bottom as well. Hmm, something to think about. And Hector is absolutely correct. So we've drawn in that the island bottom pattern. So we've seen one in Amazon. What was the other one that we saw one in? Mm, can't recall out there uh, but uh, so this island bottom here Hector just to give you an idea of where price is likely headed to it's also a consolidation breakout so all we need to do is take that consolidation area copy it paste it move it up top out here and that'll give us a, uh, a consolidation breakout price projection area as to where Amazon may be headed to. And that's in the 157.62 area out there. Price is trading above the top of its daily profile. But let's go switch over and take a look at our other charts out here. You're above uh, both the daily profile, the weekly profile, and you're within inside the profiles for the uh, monthly chart out there, bullish in structure. That suggests to move up into the 177.99 area. So we've got about the 157 to 177 area. And Walmart had the island bottom as well. Thank you, uh, G-Motion out there. Let's just go switch over to the uh, white background chart, see if there's anything else out here that we need to pay attention to with regard to Amazon. In the case of Amazon, uh, it actually has right now a confirmed Roadsman indicator top out there. Well, hold on a minute. Yeah, I take that back. I take that back. It does not. Price is trading above the top of its daily profile and above its green oscillator and change line. Looks like it wants to head higher. Week number seven, bar number seven for Amazon on a weekly basis, kind of tying into what we looked at on Apple out there. That suggests another uh, rally here to last for maybe a couple of weeks. And again, 154 actually is a price target. That's the monthly oscillator and change line. So even though you didn't ask for that, Hector, I thought I would go ahead and point out that information. So nice spotting to you. Thank you for having our backs here at TFNN. You and Patty have a uh, terrific Taco Tuesday as well. We've got a couple of questions from inside the Tiger's Den. Uh, let's go to the first, the second one first. And that was from Duncan Steve. And Duncan wants to take a look at uh, Fortnet. FT, NT is the uh, ticker symbol out there. The reason I wanted to bump him up is because Inno Visual wants to take a look at the NQs. So I'm just going to wait till we get a little bit closer towards the end of the show. We'll just uh, do that here uh, after we take a look at Fortinet, which right now is pulled back and is testing support. Stevie, and uh, that support level is the bottom of its profile. That's at 52.43. If that level fails, now let me just go over to my other charts real quickly. DKN, I'm sorry, I'm sorry FTNT out there. Whoops. FTNT. I just have to learn how to actually use my fingers to type. I was just wanted to check in on the volume. So you're at 1.5 million shares today. Last time price was down here was with 11 million shares. Well, on August the 5th. So Fortinet uh, should be able to hold this uh, profile level of 52.43. Now, if it doesn't, then it should go test that swing point for the trading day of August the 5th out there. That was the one that has that 11.7 million share day. So you can't bust them down, price should try to bust them up. But we can't get that message until price rejects that swing point. And that requires 
a close above 53.45. If we don't get that, then we don't have any kind of confirmation out there that it couldn't bust them to the downside. It just might be saying it's going to go ahead and try to uh, make that run again for that uh, profile level, 52.43 or worse, that uh, swing point from early August out there. The weekly time frame chart, Rhodes went to indicator top. Which took back, which took price back to its breakout area, 50 even Steven out there. That is held. Is that a bottom pattern? Um, is there an A to B equals CD for that time frame to the downside? I don't really think so, but it could be. Let's just let's take a look at it. Here's the A to B point. We'll draw that in there, and we're just going to simply. So is this the A to B pattern out there? A to B equals CD. We're going to take that A to B line, move that over to the C to D area out there. And yeah, okay. So we could say that we've got a uh, buy the D point pattern that uh, took place at 50 bucks even, Stephen. So you do have a nice bottom there on a weekly time frame chart. But price must continue to close about 50 bucks. Otherwise, you've got trouble in River City. That trouble would take you down to 48.74. That's the bottom of the monthly time frame out here. So with regard to Ford, it almost just looks like a uh, sideways to lower type consolidation out there. So, Stevie, Duncan, Steve, I hope that helps you out. Thanks so much for the request and have a, a terrific Tuesday as well. So now, let's go to the NQs. Uh, oh, we're going to hold off on that because we got another request. And again, we're going to try just to save that towards the end of the show, if not just the last segment out there. Tim, let's take a look at uh, GRBK. That is uh, Green Brick Partners out there. Please take a look at support resistance levels on a daily and a weekly time frame. So momentarily out here, Tim, we'll get this up on our screen. GR again, BK is what we're looking at. So support was one of the levels you were looking at. The daily time frame of support is its oscillator and change line, 2951. <laughs> support on a weekly time frame, 2529 to 2441. So you're not interested in that as we speak right now. Resistance. Resistance is going to be the highs out here from the week that began or ended December 17th. That's because that confirmed a Roachman indicator top. That was a dark cloud covered candle that says resistance is that high. And that high is 33 and a quarter. And price is likely to head there because we've got price above the top of the monthly profile. So the weekly looks bullish, the daily looks bullish, and the monthly looks bullish as well. That says a GRBK wants to take a run for those high. You're looking for an entry for a long position if it presents itself. The only thing you can see on this daily time frame, so it'd be a momentum trade, you can see how each time price has pulled back and tested that green oscillator and change line, it has rejected it as well, 29.50. But do remember, you've got resistance not that far up ahead. I don't know if the reward risk is going to make sense for you. You've got to figure it out yourself. That's at 32 and a quarter out there. So that's what's going on. We take a look at that green brick partners out there. And that was for Tim M. All right. So now let's go ahead. Uh, we've got a couple minutes left in this uh, session here before we go to a break. Let's go take a look at the NQ out there. There's the ES Mini, but let's go take a look at the NQ. This is for Inno, Inno Visual. NQ. We've got the September contract. Let's go ahead. and This will take just a moment here to populate. Is there anything specific uh, that you wanted, uh, because if you can check out the queues or NQs when closing out the show, that would be great. So we're going to close out the show just a tad early here, early here, I should say. So the NQ, the one thing that you're looking for is where does price close today? And in a visual, if price closes below yesterday's open, yesterday's open on the NQ is uh, 13,571.50. If price closes below that, you will get a uh, you'll get a bear sash candle. That will suggest that price will get back and test its green oscillator and change line. That is currently printed at 13,385. We've got a TD9 count top on the five-hour time frame. If price is able to take out that high, that high, by the way, is 13,706. That pattern will get negated and says we had higher. In fact, it'll take out the top on the five-hour chart, the four-hour chart, the two-hour chart, the high from the 60-minute chart, the Rhodes momentum indicator pa pattern on the 30-minute, it'll take out all those highs and suggest that we move higher out there. So what else are the NQs that uh, telling us out here? What are the NQs telling us? You see on that 30-minute basis, price had uh, pulled back. We covered this earlier in the show, pulled back, uh, tested the uh, 13 534 level. That was a TD9 count breakout area. That was a confirmed by the D point pattern. Price right now is back inside its profile. So the next level of resistance for the NQ to the upside is 13, 665, 85, and above that 13, 681, 75. That's what's going on in NQ land. 
That was for InnoVisual inside our Tiger's Den. Steve Rhodes with TFNN will be back in just a few. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. So I got this chart up here on the screen. Really, it's four charts out there. It shows you how the Dow is trading both in uh, dollars, euros, yen, and pounds. I guess I shouldn't have said both. But um, uh, if you take a look at this, we are at new all-time highs for the Dow priced in euros. We are at new all-time highs now for the Dow priced in yen. We are at new all-time highs for the Dow priced in pounds. So if you're wondering why is the Dow moving higher out there, I can tell you that 75% of the traders around the globe out there just using four charts here, four currencies, each with 25% equality, so to speak, out there. 75% of the traders out there see the Dow in full breakout bullish mode. They ain't sellers. Not a chance. That doesn't mean we're not going to see a top out there. But what this does do is this bodes well for the long term. And what I mean by that is we will see the Dow price in U.S. dollars at new all-time highs out there. When is the question? I mean, I've got an idea, but uh, we'll take things one step at a time. Let's go switch over and finish out the show. Show for Nancy. Take a look at uh, JNJ out here. So we'll get our eight panel 
um, multi time frame charts. If we look at the uh, monthly chart out there, consolidation with inside the profile. Uh, the weekly time frame chart for JNJ shows a key level of support that needs to hold. That's at 163.41. You've got a TD9 count bottom that is likely going to form on the daily time frame. That will confirm today. That should take price up to its oscillator and change line, Nancy. That's at 168.58. If price can close above that, then we're looking to move to 170.05 out there. Look at some of the intraday charts out there. The 65 minutes got a nice bottom. So does the 30 minute. So does the 15 minute chart. So it does look like Johnson and Johnson wants to at least make a move to 168.58 and perhaps 170.05. So Nancy, I hope that that helps you out with regard to uh, your request out there and hope that I was able to get to all of the requests uh, that have uh, come in. If we, as we close out the uh, show here, let's just take a quick peek at that nine panel market update chart, see if there's anything of significance that will show up on uh, that. So we'll get that populated here as we come into the close. Still got that US dollar index. She's at resistance and that's at top of that daily profile. That's 106.58. So I'd watch that level out there. That's about it. So folks, thanks so much for joining me on Terrific Tuesday. You have a great uh, day, a great afternoon, and I'll see you tomorrow, 11 o'clock sharp. Take care.